excited because the results that happen um, just touch my heart. And uh, it puts people on a path that of understanding how to create success in ways you may never have imagined and to find it in places you may never have thought to look. And so I love it when some of my students triple their sales in one day. So finding the benefits and the beauty. Couples that are struggling you know, to create that loving relationship all of a sudden coming into balance with each other. How many people need that one? It helps to balance every area of your life and then to lose weight without even trying. So tonight, um, this class is for you if you want to learn the secret to your success by changing one thing. That's pretty effortless, yeah? Pretty profound and pretty effortless. We're going to talk about which part of you actually controls your finances, and you may be surprised of what part that is. We're going to go into some detail about that. We're going to talk about redefining your relationship with money, because some of us don't even, we know what it is, and we know what we want, but we don't know how to get on that other path. So we're going to talk about that together. And then we're going to talk about how to take quantum leaps in your life. <laughs> so in society, we're taught how to, if I work really hard, if I save money, if I finish my list, eventually I'll meet my goal, right? A quantum leap is when you take a lot of those steps out and let what you want come to you. And society is very limiting on telling us what we have available for us to be able to create. And I'm here to open that door for you. And this is not a class about the mind. This is a class about shifting inside of you so that this work follows you home. So this is me and my son. He's 31, and he lives with his wife and my grandbaby in Florida. And this is my daughter. She's 20, and she just got back from the University of Hawaii, and she's getting ready to go to Davis. So I do a lot of traveling because they're really far. And I work my business around when I can see them. And as I do this work, they change also. They grow and they become successful as I do my own work. And so one of the limiting beliefs in society is that we, don't, we only affect ourselves. I took three businesses and I skyrocketed them into success. And at the peak of their success, I closed the doors. <laughs> Why would I do that? You know, I thought it was the wrong business. I'm going to do something better. I didn't like the boss. You know, anybody have those, you know, those kind of things come up in your head? This isn't the right thing for me. And in that moment of that third business, I felt very powerless. And I felt very trapped. And I started to struggle. I stopped looking for people who could help me um, find, my, find the way out. And a girlfriend came up to me and she says, Danny, I'm going to go see a shaman. And she finally convinced me to go. And when I met this man, his eyes sparkled. And he had a joy for life that I'd never seen before. And I looked at him like, I want that. That's what I've been looking for all this time. And he knew me, but he'd never met me. And he knew what I wanted, but I never told him. And he did a session on me. I went to the shaman's drumming circle, and he gave me this book. Because what he did in my session was he gave me a power animal which I didn't know what a power animal was, didn't know why I needed it, right? But it was peacock. And so when the drumming circle came, he goes, Danny, I want you to look at peacock. So guess what peacock represents? Oh, my prize student. <laughs> Laughter. <laughs> so the work follows you home. I was shocked. It's like, how could that happen that fast? And so I started working with him. I started working with the... Uh, uh, shamans of Peru and here, because I wanted to learn, what is this work that uh, changes your life, that follows you home, that rearranges your whole reality when you walk through the door? So this is not a class of the mind. This is a class of how do you shift what's inside of you so that the universe matches it when you get home, so that you hold that energy of money or abundance or whatever it is that uh, you're wanting here tonight, and how do you let the universe bring it to you? So we're going to take a journey around the medicine wheel. And we're going to start with um, the direction of the south and um, the wisdom of serpent. And this direction is about unveiling your path to success. We've got to find it first, right? Where is that path? You know, I know it's there. I'm going to find it. Um, and she teaches us how to shed our past as she sheds her skin all at once. Because there's many times in your past that this situation has arisen, but you just ha it happened in a different way. Kind of like the person that marries somebody four times, but it's the same person with a different face, 
right? And so we need to go a lot deeper into why our situation is the way it is now. Now we're going to journey to the West and the wisdom of Jaguar, and she teaches us how to gather your abundant gifts and understanding that our ancestors also hold a piece of this financial uh, situation that we're in and what piece is that and how can we grow from that and step beyond fear, beyond anger because Jaguar fears nothing and we live in a society full of fear right now. And then we're going to go up to the north in the wisdom of Hummingbird and she does the impossible. She shouldn't be able to fly with the size that she is, yet she'll take that epic journey from Brazil to Canada without any excuses. And she'll do it effortlessly. And she has fun at doing it. And in this direction, you learn how to do the impossible. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then we're going to end up in the east, and that's a wisdom of eagle, condor, and how to take quantum leaps, how to fly high, and so the ego sources from all the wisdom that ever was. And so how do you take quantum leaps in your successes? And I know you've all have done it before. Like you're thinking of somebody and all of a sudden the phone rings. Yeah? So you know it's not a coincidence that the economy is the way that it is. And I know you all know that. Uh, we have always found our value in if I have the car, and if I have the education, and if I have the house, and the boat, and the clothes, and the vacations, life is good, right? I've got value. And then what happens when it's all taken away? Where's your value then? Yeah. So the shaman came down, has been in hiding for 500 years because they were being persecuted by the conquistadors of South America when the Catholic Church came in because they thought the shaman was a religion. And the shaman is not a religion. And about 40 years ago, they, these last of the Inca shamans who lived at 18,000 feet in the sacred mountain of Apuasangate, the sacred masculine mountain, they received a prophecy that they needed to teach their ways to the country that held the, held the world's power, the people with the round eyes. And so they've only been down for 40 years. And so today is, I'm going to, tap into that and give you as many answers as I can. A lot of this will not retain in your mind because my intention is to open a dimension so that it affects your physical being so that you have that law of attraction when you leave. So how many people have seen The Secret? Yeah, why, why, why are you here? <laughs> you know, I can tell you that there was a piece missing, obviously, from The Secret, yeah? There was a piece missing. And I can tell you about 90% of the teachers in The Secret saw a shaman. Yeah.